35 laps the distance. The preliminary feature for the Houston's Hustle is underway. Aaron Reitzel jumps to the early race lead. Three wide for second, but the caution lights come on. Aaron Reitzel early on the throttle. That will move Ryan Timms to the outside of the front row. Good start out of turn four, side by side for the race lead. Ryan Timms on the top will take the top spot. Sheldon Hodenshield second as they reach turn three. Tyler Courtney digging on the bottom side of the speedway. He's got the fourth spot, putting the 41 of Carson Macedo back to position number five. It's Ryan Timms on the opening lap, and he starts to pull the field as he heads to turn three. Tyler Courtney trying to catch up with Sheldon Hodenshield for second, and Sheldon getting closer to the race leader. Ryan Timms in heavy traffic at the end of the back straightaway. Yeah, lap traffic using both lines in front. Front of the 5T of Ryan Timms, allowing the 17 of Hodenshield to close right on his back bumper. Timms right through the middle. Hodenshield a slightly higher line. They'll race back to turn number three. Ryan Timms dives back down to the bottom side. Now here comes the 7BC of Courtney working the bottom side of the speedway. Sheldon to the bottom, looking for the lead side by side. And Sheldon Hodenshield will lead as we come back by the stripe. Hodenshield leads at, le at lap 15. Sheldon Hodenshield challenged down low by Ryan Timms. Timms trying to come back at him. They're side by side again into three and four. Ryan Timms back to the lead out of turn four on lap 16. So Timms will go back down to the bottom here in turn number one. On the top, here comes Sheldon Hodenshield. Have you heard that line before? Hodenshield ripping the cushion as they go to turn number three. Timms slides up. Here comes Hodenshield to his inside and Hodenshield back to the lead. Sheldon Hodenshield back out front on lap 17. Tyler Courtney and Ryan Timms right there behind him. Sheldon Hodenshield, Ryan Timms, Tyler Courtney, Carson Macedo, Aaron Reitzel remain the top five. Top three are all bunched up, racing for position in turn three. Here comes Tyler Courtney to the inside of Ryan Timms, the race for second down the front stretch. Tyler Courtney up to second now. Ryan Timms trying to come back at him on the top of the speedway. Courtney keeping pace with leader Sheldon Hodenshield. Ryan Timms still right there as well. Heavy traffic in front of the leaders with 20 laps complete and 15 to go. As they race, the 41 of Carson Macedo getting a little closer to all three of them. 15 to go. Sheldon Hodenshield leads by less than four tenths of a second. Trouble front straightaway. Car upside down. Red lights are on around the speedway. Dason Persley in the 25 going upside down on the front straightaway. And Dason Persley out of the car. Dason Persley out of the car on the front straightaway. Take a look at the Dirt Vision replay and see if we can determine what happened. Car was already upside down as the leaders came out of turn number four. Didn't realize how close that was to the race leaders there. Back to green, Tyler Courtney to the inside, a challenge for the lead, he has it momentarily, Sheldon trying to power back around him on the outside, wheel to wheel for the top spot into turn three. How close was that? And here comes Ryan Timms up there on the top side of the speedway, he's got a run at the top two. Hot and shield, Courtney, Timms breaking away from fourth place running Carson Macedo and Aaron Reitzel. Top three breaking away will come around to 13 laps to go. Battle for the fifth spot to the inside comes the 18 of Giovanni Selzy. He'll take the position away from the 87 of Aaron Reitzel. Reitzel comes right back at him on the inside in one and two. That happens right in front of Tim Kading. Reitzel back into the top five in the number 87. They're running all over the racetrack. Heavy lap traffic right in front of your race leaders. Here comes Tyler Courtney closing in, diving to the inside. Courtney takes the lead into turn one, slides up in front of Sheldon Hodenshield. Now Hodenshield will play pursuit in the three and four. Now the battle for the Hodenshield broke. Something's broken on the 80s. Right rear tire, right rear tire is gone on the 17 of Sheldon Hodenshield. Back under green flag conditions. Good restart for Tyler Courtney as he makes his way into turn one. Carson Macedo looks to the inside of Ryan Timms. The race for second, heating up at the end of the back straightaway. Timms has the advantage as they race off of turn number four. Reitzel with the run coming after Macedo as Tim Kading enters the top five. The 3K getting by the 18 of Giovanni Selzy. Here comes Brad Sweet right behind them. Brad Sweet up behind Selzy into the seventh spot. Reitzel around the outside of the 41. Move Aaron Reitzel into the top three in the 87. One lap to go for Tyler Courtney on the opening night of the Houston's Hustle. Works his way toward the back of Landon Crawley 7S. He'll take the car into three and four for the final time. Tyler Courtney off of turn number four gets his first win at Houston Speedway in the 7BC. Ryan Tim second and Aaron Reitzel completes the podium. Cold Noss energy drink in his hand as he takes the VP checkered flag up top to celebrate the win on the opening night of the Houston's Hustle.
Uh, I just knew I was going to have to go somewhere else to beat Sheldon. He, he was really, really good around the top, and I knew when we got to trap, we were going to have to be able to move around. And it was getting a little rough there through one and two, so you kind of had to slow down quite a bit. And he could just carry momentum, and I, I think he cut a tire or something there. That sucks. I really wanted to have a, a good race with uh, you know our non-center drink teammate there, but just uh, just an awesome, awesome night for us. Uh, I think I told you earlier in the dash or the dash draw that. I didn't, uh, I didn't remember running a top 10 a couple of the nights. I just felt like this was one of our, our worst performances of the year last year. So to come out you know, the first night and uh, put this thing in, in victory lane is uh, just awesome. Just speaks, speaks, uh, speaks uh, huge uh, about what, what my guys can do and what we've, uh, you know, what we've been doing this year. And uh, you know, hopefully you know, being in the same spot tomorrow was a little bit bigger check. Uh, same as every other night. Obviously, yeah, it comes with a, a bigger paycheck at the end of the night. But, you know, uh, if you take each night the same, obviously intensity is going to be quite a bit up uh, higher tomorrow. But um, we've put ourselves in a good spot for tomorrow. And that's what tonight was all about. Um, so, yeah, just uh, can't thank my whole team enough. Um, Jake, Bobby, Ron, um, my whole Costa Marshall team, Nostrand and Drink, Elliott's Custom Trailers, Spire Motorsports, uh, Stan Racing Engine, Snee Lawson Chassis, Garrett with CSI Shocks, just uh, just awesome tonight, and thank you fans for coming out, and hopefully Mother Nature plays nice with us the, the next three days, and uh, we'll put on uh, some really good racing for you. For live coverage of every World of Outlaws event, and for extended on-demand race content, visit DirtVision.com. For full race results, features, and series news, visit WorldOfOutlaws.com.